Amen. A man that is born of a few days is full of trouble. I'm going to read a familiar number of songs. The 23rd number of songs. Simply says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For the Lord is with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before, before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. May the Lord continue to bless each and every one of us. God bless you.
I was shook, but then I was reminded. Jesus said, unless a seed is planted into the ground and die, it can produce no fruit. Amen. Corruption, one of us put on, take on incorruption, am I right? Mortality should take on immortality. Am I right about that? Paul said something like this. He said, if you have hope only in this life, he said, you are all men most miserable. I will be sad today knowing that this is the end. But I know there was a resurrection. And because Jesus rose from the dead, And he said, where I am, there you may be also. So there's going to be a resurrection, family. You're not looking at the end. See, every one of us who are in Christ, we have eternal life. Can I, can I break it down to you? As a believer, we never die. We just close our eyes. So, family, I'm just encouraging you. This is not the end. There will be a resurrection. Can I get amen, church? There's going to be a resurrection because Jesus took the stain out of death, family. So, when we close our eyes, we just wake up in his presence. So I believe like this, Pastor. Sudden death, sudden glory. To be absent oh, and to be present with the Lord. And just to come with the family, the scripture says in Psalm 9 when he says, With long life will I satisfy you and show you my salvation. And when the Lord sh get shared that scripture with me, I said, Lord, I don't understand it. He said, see, man see things in shadows. When they see someone pass away, they think that's the end. He said, but didn't I say it to be after from the body and to be present with me? So she got eternal life. I said, she had me turn the line. So what we're doing, family, we just celebrate. She just going a little early. Yeah. Because Solomon said, all of us are going to leave here. Yeah. It's a time and a season. All things, all things. But to the family, if you know the finished work of Christ, you know what he did for us. The sacrifice he made for us, that by receiving him, we have eternal life. Amen. So there's no fear for us in death. Amen? Amen. Father, we thank you this morning as we celebrate the home going of one of our family members. We ask, Father, that you continue to touch and comfort every heart. You can feel every void. And give them your shalom. Give them your peace that passes all understanding. Let my sister know that this is not the end. Let my brother-in-law know this is not the end. Let my nieces and nephews know this is not the end. Because in your presence there's fullness of joy. And at your right hand there are pleasure forevermore. Father, we thank you that you are God of all comfort. And you are God that makes no mistake. So as we celebrate today, we thank you, Father. Thank you for covering this family. Thank you for surrounding them like a shield. Father, thank you for your ever-loving promise that all of us will be with you one day in your kingdom. So we thank you for this moment, this time that we celebrate one of our loved ones in your presence. Amen. Amen.
didn't understand that. Somebody didn't understand that. Somebody didn't understand that. Down in my soul cries old men. But then it says, down in my sanctified soul, sanctified, I've been separated. And I can't do nothing but break the law. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his prayer. And his prayer shall continue to be in my mouth. Yeah. 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 Is that anybody? I'm serious. I just feel the presence here. I just feel the presence of God. Amen. Amen. I just feel the presence of God. I will bless the Lord. kind of strange, amen, but I don't know about you, but if you don't mind getting your praise on, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, excuse me, just for a moment. Felton, where is Shay? 
I don't know. Um, I looked at Shay, I said, Shay, I'm in trouble. You got to call your mama, and you got to call my mama, and let them know where you at. She said, I will, I will. I just need some rest. Many days, my cash out would ring. I didn't know what cash out was. Shay taught me what cash out was. But my dog. And I'm getting the cash out. What you doing sending me cash out? Because we ain't had breakfast. Perkins was our spot. We would run to Perkins, Joe's, Crabs. On days like these, <laughs> people would look in the back, and that's me and Shay. <laughs> I thought it did not say, I'm over the Lord, they together again, it's trouble. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to see us together at a funeral, because they know that they going to be talking about it. But I'm going to miss her. But I can tell you something. Shay was one of those people that, in spite of her going through, she still was worried about what you were going through. Shay stayed around for her kids. She stayed around for her grandkids. Last school year, Shay called me while she wasn't able and say, Felton, I need to go to the store to get school supplies for the kids. I say, Shay, tell me what they need. I'll get them. Or Kevin will get them. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get them. I got in my truck, drove to her house, her mama's house, to come get her, to get up when she wasn't able to go get schools for all of those kids. I did that because I needed to show her that she couldn't do this. And to show the world that her mother was doing all that she could do. And I thank God for her mother and I thank God for her yes. uncle. <laughs> and I thank God for, because they was there to help her. And I'm going to say this to the family and to others. <laughs> Jesus cried. Jesus wept. Amen. We know in the Bible at least three times. And one time the Bible said he cried tears of blood. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with crying. Mm -hmm. And she shed many tears. Mm -hmm. And they weren't always tears of pain. Mm -hmm. Me and her shed tears of joy. Me and her slept in my bed together. And she had a key to my house. At any time, she could come there and go as she pleased. And to Janetta, you know, you always have that place in my heart that she had. And to each and every one of y'all, y'all call me Uncle Felton. Because I'm here for y'all if you need me. But she was my baby. And the baby, I love you. John, I love y'all. Y'all pray my strength in the Lord.
I'm the oldest girl, oldest child, but Shay was the big sister. Shay was the more responsible. I was the uh, I didn't care. <laughs> Breakfast, don't want that bit. Shay was always that one that gave you that solid food on the ground. They care if you only put it there now. But I can tell you, if I could just talk about my sister, it would take me four to six years to talk about it. Amen. So it's hard to put in how I'm feeling in three, four, five minutes. But, like I say, as a kid, youngster, I, I was bad. So, I'm on something with my, my oldest brother, Fred. When I came back, I got a result. I'm, I'm, I was excited, but kind of mad because I don't get that. That happens to my mom, to my best friend. But I always told my sister, I was, I was my sister's protector. I was whatever that was, that was my mom. Uh, I remember high school, everybody else had made fun. I had to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, take Shay all the way to chapel, sit there at chapel until about four, five o'clock in the evening, I'll show you all the way back. But at that time, it was, me and Shay were so close, I mean, it was going to do it. Even though it was messing up my turn, I can't hang out with my friend, but it gave me time to stay with my little sister. Because I knew if they, I wouldn't have that time. My girlfriend told me two weeks ago, she was like, hey, you need to go to each other. Next weekend, I got to work that Saturday, so I said, I'll go that Sunday. I get a call five in the morning. I'm going to tell my sister. I know I got to tell her, get the chance to tell her. I never got to play that last day game with her and be good this way. I remember the first time I can actually remember the first time I heard my sister tell me she was loving me. Hey. I'm going to see the same situation because I was in that sugar at that time. I got bit by a uh, snake. I was not feeling it. We brought mom riding to the hospital. My daddy grabbed mom on the side. And I get my sister and brother like, don't die. You, I love you, I love you, I love you. And if I could right now, I was hoping my sister to tell her, I love you. You have to have a rock for me. You always kept trying to keep me on that level ground. Even when I exploded, all of me was my person. Shay gave her heart to anybody <laughs> that would have her heart to come to us. Good. One thing about it, bro, she won't tell you. But then, like, if my mom used to say, Right on my face, if they didn't think it was, it, it was running correctly, she gonna bust you until she figured to find out. Okay, yeah, that's gonna work. If I could turn back ahead of time, I would say I had the best two sisters that I could ever give them. The best name. I know this is just a shell right here. And I know one day again, I will see my sister. Amen. Amen. I want to thank God's family and friends. My name is Nancy Tessa. I still want to applaud. That is my cousin and classmate. I want to say one thing to everyone that Jesus said on the cross. <clears throat> oh, what a life we live. Oh, what joy we have in Jesus. And he gave us one thing to do, family. Is to love God with all our heart. When we love God with all our heart, we be repelled for this day because we're not looking at no more pain and suffering upon our family, upon our daughters. 
because Jesus has seen fit to say, come on home, child, and give your family rest in me because they know what love is. Love don't die, brother and sisters. Love is yet alive in Christ Jesus in your life. When we die and don't know Jesus, now we don't die. But when we love Jesus, we yet live because we're going to a better place. Family, I wait my day. But I don't know what's going to come at me. But I know I know Jesus. So Jesus said this to us, people. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me they may have peace in the world. They shall have crowd, but be a good church. I have overcome the world. Oh, what a lot. She had feel amongst y'all are you talking about. So that life you'll never stop talking about. As the brother say, you, you can't tell it all now. He's going to take you for some years. So keep on loving Jesus because Remain alive in her because she is in us now. The love she had for us and then Christ Jesus. Thank you. Losing two daughters less than a year. It's a hard field of small. But I keep saying, God don't get this. Amen. I call my Aunt Rose. I wanted to just get with her and just break down and cry. Screaming all. But I played it off once I got on the phone with her. I told her I was all right. I was driving for my house. Tears rolling down my eyes. I just could stop crying. But I wasn't going to let nobody else see me break. Mm. Not from my baby. Yeah. I'm going to stand strong. Amen. No matter how it turns out. I knew this day was coming. And she talked to me. Called me in the room. Mama, can I talk to you? I said, yeah. She said, I'm tired. She said, Mama, you got to let me come. I said, no, I'll never do that. God himself, I got to take you. I'll never let you go. I said it then. And I say it about the other two I got. But don't ask me how I'm doing. Don't ask me how I'm doing. And I'm going to leave you with this. The power of God is holding me up. Thank <laughs> you.
tears on the road. Yes. But I think I took it hard to cover up my baby up. Which I knew then I would never see her no more. And that was farewell. It was hard when they closed it. But she was of mine in the beginning. I learned that from my other daughter. Crying. And God said, She was the jewels I lived to. Play. But I truly thank Him for those 45 years I had. And I did my part as a mother. I ain't got to search my heart. I ain't got to search my mind. I'm not going to talk and turn in the bed and wonder what I should have won or could. I did. I did what I needed to do. And everybody know me. They know the truth. I ain't got no understanding when you mess with my children. Now when I really get crazy, when you mess with the grandpa. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's I get a little crazy then. Yeah, that's right. But I'm gonna take it a little further. You step on them little great grandbabies. <laughs> Man, y'all better like somebody needs some bail money. <laughs> that's why I don't go. But they can't defend themselves. Yeah. And I'm gonna stand for it. But they gotta be right. Amen. You gotta be right. But y'all just remember, no matter how hard it get for me, I'm gonna shed some tears. I know that. It's all right. It's all right. But I'm gonna miss my baby. But God is gonna hold me up through it all. Yes, yes. His power, yes, yes. His mercy, and His love yes. is gonna take me through. Amen. Yes. I thank y'all for everything that you guys have done, how you all have been very supportive to me and my family. And I think they're more worried about me than they is anybody else. But I'm going to be all right. Yes. Because I'm trusting somebody that holds my hand yeah. through yeah. the thick and through the thin. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Amen.
can't be your friend to a woman without something going on. But let me tell you something, and I say this from my heart before my God, that's a lie. Amen. That woman there, my friend. I didn't know Shay all my life, but it was 10 to years, it's over 10 years I know, or longer, or much longer, since I know her from our church when I joined Bishop Reebok Church. I came to know Shay. And one time that she had some problem with her car, and my wife told me that they want to help. First time I'm getting to know who she really is. And from that day to this, that been my friend. Amen. Not only that, I knew she was in charge and God gave me the key Amen. as a friend. So when she called, I knew I had to answer. And by the grace of God, I did. But one thing about Shay, I never, now Shay was hard on cars. Now, everybody most of know me from ministry call me mechanic here at Montpelier. I never in my life seen nobody go through so many flat tires and all the days of my life. <laughs> And it don't matter if it's day and night. I'm saying, say, how in the world can you have so many flat tires? <laughs> that call come and I gotta go. My wife said, where you going? Say you out of flat. But did she just have a flat? I said, she got a duck. <laughs> I gotta go. I said, well, who went to? Since she got a son with her. RJ in the back seat. RJ the father man, he was just tall and he ain't probably know what was going on. All he know he was with his mom. <laughs> but I go see Bob and come back. If it ain't a day or two later, here comes she calling me again. She always called me. Mr. Ray. Mr. Ray. Mr. Ray. Ah, I got another flat. <laughs> Say your car don't do nothing but have flat tire, you do it break down or anything with the motor. But say it's your car. <laughs> so I said, it's because she used a new style. I say I can't do nothing about that. So she got a brand new car. About a month or two went by, she doing fine. And the Lord behold, I told my wife I came to leave. She said, what happened? I said, she got a flat tire. <laughs> Amen. I said, this is a brand new car with brand new tires. But that was my friend. Like I said, out of all the years I know her, we never went sideways across the line. So that's how I can tell you now, a man can have a woman friend. That's a woman can have a man friend without crossing the line. So I know definitely a lot. I'm a true witness to that. Yeah. Yeah. Out of all the years I know her, that's my friend. Her, her parents, Mr. John, Ms. Betty, I love them to death. The children, I have like I have raised them, and I feel them tired. <laughs> I have to say what she did to go. And like they said, it was for her children. Yeah. <laughs> What she did for her children was unreal. unreal. The things that we do for our kids is unreal. The same the way to God that we serve in the Lord. We are his children. It's unreal. But it's God's way. And that's the way we seem to walk. I thank God for bringing my life back on just but now I can see the work that God has done. The children have grown up with children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. They met it and that John is proud of. Uh, Jay, you look at him now, I, you're still looking for him to be this little. 
Dio non torni da Dio me è nato by the grace of God your mother my friend I thank God for giving me an opportunity to speak on what we have I know now that God is real because if you say you can't be killed you can if you ever say that there's no God you need to get another understanding. And if you don't know nobody that will tell you that, call on them, sir. I will tell you what God will and will not do. Amen. He did it for my friend. She resting now. She's not dead. There is life Amen. beyond the physical death Amen. of this shell. Amen. That's a shell. She hanging out with God. Be absent from the body, be present with the Lord. And they ain't saying we're going to be no hang time. I believe the minute she left to the body, she is hung out with God. Amen. 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 So, pattern your life. There is realness. There is keeping power in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The children, I say to y'all, take note from your mom. Be real about yourself. Be real for God. Amen. God got you. That's my famous saying. You did it. You said it. Mr. John, God got you. The children, if you don't know it, let me be the first to tell you. God got you. But you got to call upon it. But you got to line up with it. Amen. 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 I know my wife right now waving her hand, and, and she throwing two fingers up, two fists. That ain't that wasn't gonna work from the beginning. I already know. I was gonna disobey that one. Love you. I can't say what I had to say. I'm like a brother, and and two minutes. Five minutes, I can't do it. But it's an honor for them to allow me a chance to speak to them behalf of shape. And I thank God I ain't got to worry about no call, about no flat tire. Amen. Right now, Shay don't need no tire. She got her way. Amen. Oh, okay. Oh. She said, Kevin, you work for a 
She's told me those same words. And she said, she said, she said, I'm not worried. I'm not worried about the condition I'm in. I'm just worried about my children. Amen. She was just worried about her children. Amen. Amen. She said, and I, 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 I recall the last time, amen, I, I went around to commune with her, amen, and, I, and Shay would just say, you know, she said, she said, I can't walk, I can't, but, but you know, you know, I just, and she, she mentioned probably that, you know, she's tired, she's tired, she's tired, amen, but I want y'all to understand something, amen, maybe y'all may not understand it, but Amen. Sometimes we, we look at it that we never know the day, not the hour, when the Son of Man shall appear. But I want y'all to understand this also. Amen. If you know God like I know God, you don't really have to leave here until you get ready. Amen. Somebody just missed that. Amen. Amen. Paul said, I finished my course. Amen. And I'm ready what to be caught up. Amen. Amen. When you know Lord, that, and that's what I'm saying. I'm tired now. I'm tired. Amen. Amen. But look what the Bible says. It said, let not your heart be troubled. But you believe in God, believe also in me. Life has its troubles. Life has its troubles. But look at this now. This life is just temporary. This life is just temporary. It has its ups. It has its down. Amen. But it's just temporary. This life, life trials, and what it does, it prepares us. Amen. For the next life. Amen. This is just part of the process. Right. This is just part of the process. But as I said, I know we all want to live a long time. Amen. But it's not a matter of how long you live, but how you live. May the life I live speak for me. But look at this now. Trial is a part of the process. But God will not put no more on us then we can bow. And if God allows you to go through it, you better believe God will bring you through it. But look at this now. And I, I, I say this, and I've been saying this at funerals, amen, and I've been preaching, amen, amen. God allows trials for several reasons. God allows trials to do what? Make us strong. Because guess what? If you had not went through what you've been through, amen, you wouldn't be who you are right now. Trials, look at this now. Trials come to show. Look at this. Now. God sometimes allows trials to come in our lives, amen, to show us where we are with him. Amen. 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 Because all of us can testify, amen. We ain't where we should be. Amen. And we ain't always done what we should do. Amen. So God sometimes, amen, allows trials to come in our lives. No why? Because sometimes God says, I got to bring it down or not, amen. Because you got to live too high. I got to bring it down just for a moment because you done got to side yourself. God allows trials to come to show others how faithful we are. Uh -huh. See, a lot of us, we talk this thing, but amen. It ought to show folks how faithful you are. Amen. God allows you to go through some things so you can show them how faithful you are. Yeah. Yeah. I know we love that, that, little, that, little, that little thing about God is good all the time, and all the time God is good, but good God Almighty, let the rubber meet the road. Uh -huh. Because when the rubber meets the road, it's a whole different story. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. But we go through these things. Oh, oh, I, I wanted to come, but amen. My, my body wouldn't allow me to come, but amen. I don't know about you, but I believe in pressing on. Is anybody here know about pressing on? I believe in pressing on. Don't matter how hard, don't matter, amen, how the body aches with pain. I believe in pressing on. One thing about Sister Shea, she wanted to come to church, amen. And I remember the last time she came to church, Sister Betty brought her in there. Amen. She wanted to be there. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. We sometimes, and I know the body. Amen. Amen. Sometimes, now listen to me. And I say this to Lily Bass too. We're not going to be at the house of God all the time when the doors open. But amen, you ought to have a mind want to be in the house of God. You ought to have a mind want to be in the presence of God. Amen. Amen. And don't, don't come with me talking about we can watch it on television. The Bible says, fail not to assemble yourself together. Amen. Because when I come to the house of God, you strengthen me and I strengthen you. Amen. Because when I listen to your testimony and what I'm, you're going through, amen, and I say, Lord, if they've been through it, amen, I know you can bring me through it. Because if God has done it, 
tell you what, he can do it. And then sometimes just because the way things seem does not mean that's the way it is. And then just because that's the way it is does not mean that's the way it has to stay. Somebody ought to tell it all, thank you. But then look at this hymn. God allows trials to come. Where, look at this, now y'all got to get this. God allows trials to come sometime in our life where it's not even about you. Amen. God just uses you as a vessel yeah. so he can show other folks yeah. how powerful yeah. he is. Yeah. That's all, he just uses you as a vessel to show others how powerful he yeah. Amen. See, remember now, the Hebrew boys, if you know the story, yeah. that wasn't about them. Man. Uh, but that old king had them raised his voice talking about if I bind you up what God then can deliver you out of my hand. So those boys could not go in that furnace and be consumed by the fire because God had to show God, God had to show that king that I'll take them through it and I'll bring them out of it. Yeah. Glory. My God. Life. Prepares us. Listen, I'm going to say it again. Life prepares us. This life Amen. prepares us for the next life. This is only the dressing room. Amen. We didn't come here to stay. Amen. And I don't know about you all, but I, I, I wouldn't want to stay in a world that looked like this and act like this. <laughs> I want it to be just like when God created Adam and Eve and put them in the Garden of Eve. Didn't have to worry about folks lying on me. Amen. Uh -huh. Didn't have to worry about folks stealing from me. Amen. Didn't have to worry about folks smiling in my face. Amen. And then stabbing me in my back. Amen. Like the old songwriter say, talk about me as much as you please. The more you talk, I'm going to bend my knees. Amen. But look at this now. In order. In order, in, order, in order to get where God wants us and trying to take us, we have to go through some things. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. We got to go through some things in life. We got to go yes. through some things in life. Yes. I know we don't like the bad. I know we want things to go smooth in our lives. But amen. Thank God for the ex. Thank God for the pain. Because you know what the Bible says in Romans 8, 28? It says, don't matter what you're going through. So I, I don't care if you talk about me. Yeah. I'm going to say it like I heard another brother say it, amen. Amen. Brother Washington said it like this, yeah, amen. Last Sunday in church, I looked at brother, brother Eddie Washington, and I said, Eddie Washington, can I, can I, can I trouble you for a moment? Can I talk about you just for a moment? He said, all oh, day. <laughs> I said, boy, you done said a mouthful. <laughs> amen. Made me feel good, amen. You want to talk about me? Go ahead, all day. Because what you meant for evil, God meant it for good. Does anybody here know what I'm talking about? Amen. And then I come to find out that when people kick you in the back, amen. Don't get mad because I ain't never saw nobody get kicked in the back, fall backwards. Amen. When you kick me in the back, I go forward. All you're doing is helping me root my goal a little faster. Does anybody here know what I'm talking about? You just help me reach my goal a little faster. Amen. Anybody want to kick me? Go ahead. I ain't gonna get mad. My grandmother instilled it in me like this. Yes, she said, "Don't worry about what people say about you." Amen. And, and matter of fact, don't even worry about what they do about you. Cause remember now, before they did it to you, they did it to your savior. But we have to go through some things in our lives. Let me see if I can try to get here. But we have to go through some things in our lives to the point that we may have to face death. Amen. David said in Psalms 23 and 4, David said, yeah, you know, I walk through the valley of the shackles of death. I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Yes. Thou rod and thou staff, they comforts uh -huh. me. Uh -huh. But look at this now, dying is not a bad thing. It ain't a bad thing. Because the Bible says in Psalms 116 and 15, it says, precious it is in the sight of the Lord over the death of his saints. 
Y'all look at Sister Shea here, and I know it's still our hearts are heavy, our hearts are sad, amen. But guess what? Shea has done something. Hey, I'm going to tell y'all just like this here. Right now, Shea is in a better condition than we are. Yeah. Because when you know God and you are sleeping, amen, you're in better condition than those that are living. Because the Bible says when he come back, he said the dead in Christ shall rise first. Somebody missing this. Somebody missing this. Yeah. But look at this now. He said, so see, we get to, see, when we leave this life, we get to be home with the Lord. Amen. Amen. And I know some folks say, I want to go home and live with the Lord, but I ain't ready to die. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but understand this. And my, my, my aunt, my aunt taught me this year. Amen. She said, she said, you know why people don't want to die? Amen. Because it was instilled in us from the beginning to live forever. Amen. Amen. We have that, we have that, that life that, that wants to live forever because it was instilled in us to never die. Mm. But because of S-I-N. Yeah. S-I-N will mess up some things. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Oh. But look at this. The problem, but the problem with that word S I N. And I've said this before. It, the S I, the S ain't the problem. The N ain't the problem. It's that I in the middle. Yeah. If you want a man a better life, replace that I with an O. The Son of God. Amen. That, that, that's it's that I. It's that I in the middle. But look at this. Paul said it like this in, in 2 Corinthians five and one. Paul said, "Now, for we know, we know." That if this earthly tabernacle is destroyed, yes, yes. this house is torn down, we ought to know that we have a building from yes, God, right. a house not made yes. with hands eternal in the heavens. Yes, yes. I don't know about you all, but I believe Sister Shay, knowing God, she can say, I got a new home. Yes. And it's over in the Lord. But even, but even look at this now. 
But even when we face death, we don't have to fear evil for his rod and his staff, they comfort us. That lets us know that God is with us. Yeah, yeah. Hebrews 13 and 5, he said, God will never leave you, no, when he's forsaken you. Yes, yes. But some of us, you don't think, you think even at this point in time that God has left you. And if you're questioning yourself is that God has forgotten about you, I dare you to just inhale and exhale. <laughs> Because if you just would inhale and exhale, you ought to know that the presence of God is there. Yeah. Amen. But, but if God ever draw his spirit, takes his spirit away from you, which is that breath, amen, yeah. you are dead soul. Yeah. 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 Amen. But look at this now. You're breathing, you're breathing, you're inhaling, you're exhaling. No, God is showing some of us, but some of us, we are not picking on nobody, but all of us, we know we ain't got it together, amen. But see, some of us, we are not riding on his grace, we just riding on his mercy. Yeah. Yeah. We riding on his mercy, we riding on it, but what mercy does, mercy spares you. Uh -huh. Mercy gives you a second chance. Uh -huh. But some of us, we take God's mercy for granted. Yeah. Yeah. And remember to understand, His mercy endures forever, but there will come a time His mercy will run out for you. Yeah. Somebody missed that. Somebody missed that. Jesus. Look at this. Look at this. Thank God for His mercy. I thank God for His mercy because I ain't always been who I am right now. I ain't always done what I wanted to do uh -huh. or what I should do. But Joshua said it like this here, and this is an invitation to many of you all. Joshua said, thank God for, but look at this, thank God for, but Joshua said it like this. Joshua said, choose ye this day yeah. whom yeah. you are going to serve. Yeah. Are you going to serve the God that created you? Right. Are you going to serve the gods of this world? Well, well. Somebody said, what you mean the gods of this world? I ain't talking all about the Buddha and all that. But some of us, we, we make idols. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. We worship our jobs, yeah. our children, yeah. our cause. Yeah. Yeah. But listen how Job said it. Job said, now be careful how you how you worship those things. I get this understand. Yeah. Because the God that gives it has the right to take it away. Yeah. God giveth and God what? Take it away. Look at this now. The choice. The choice is yours. I'm trying to go somewhere. The choice is yours, but understand, if you make the wrong choice, you got to face the consequences. Yeah. Now, I think all of us know about consequences. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm rubbing on these little cheeks back here, but I know these little cheeks back here don't face some consequences in life because uh -huh. I made the wrong decision. Amen. You got to understand, amen, that, that, that the choices we make, amen, there's consequences come with the choices that you make. Uh -huh. Ezekiel 18 and 4, God said it like this here. God said, all souls are mine, amen. but the soul that sinned shall die. Yeah. Jesus, and what he's saying there is, they won't have, they won't have a resurrection unto life. See, all of us going to have a resurrection, but there are some unto life and there are some unto death. Amen. Because didn't he say it in Revelation? Say, I saw standing before the judge, made seat of God, the great and the small. And if their name was not written in the Lamb book of life, amen, they were cast into where? The lake of fire. And I say that lake of fire. Don't let nobody fool you and tell you hell ain't real. <laughs> And if you don't, if you want to take and ride on that, that hell is not real, I dare you to go there, but I guarantee you when you get there, you ain't coming up out of there. Amen. There's many exits, there are many entrances in there, but there's no exit out of there. Amen. Yeah. Jesus said in 11, John 11, he says, he says, 11, 25, see, he said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live again. And whosoever liveth shall never die. Uh -huh. What he's saying there, that's why we can say it. Saints don't die, they just sleep. Amen. Yeah. Lazarus, Jesus told them Lazarus was just sleeping, but they didn't understand it. So he said, yeah, he did, because they didn't understand. Physically, he was dead, but spiritually, he was just sleeping. Because look here, Jesus didn't have to go there with no hocus pocus. All he did was call his name. Uh -huh. He called his name and said, Lazarus! 
Mm. And when Lazarus came forth, he said, death called loose the man that let you go. Yeah. Is anybody here know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So saints just sleep. They just sleep. We just pass through death. Jesus wants a relationship with us. He wants a relationship with us. It's in the text. It's in the text. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I'm trying to close here. But look here. Don't matter what you've done in life. Yes. Every lie you done told. All the money you done stole. Uh -huh. <laughs> and some of you, for every house, you done tipped in and tipped out. All right. Come on. Oh, the bugbagness you walked. Don't matter what sin you've done. Uh -huh. And I want to I pin this to somebody. Don't never think. Somebody else's sin stinks worse than yours. Yeah. Because the Bible says all sin stinks in the nostrils of the Lord. Yeah. So I don't have no right. I may not have snorted. And I may not have bit cans in the middle. May not have had somebody to give me a shotgun. Help him, Lord. Help him, Lord. Oh, but I do know that sin does stinks in the nostrils of the Lord. Amen. But that is why God loves in spite, in spite of what we've done, God still loves us. Yes. Yes. That's why God gave his son yes. and his son gave his life. Yes. But look at here now, the son gave his life, but look at here, he died out on Calvary. I'm trying to leave you now. He died on Calvary for every lie you done told. He died on Calvary for all the money you done stole. But hey, out there on Calvary, you know, he had already said, nobody taking my life. But I lay my life down, and if I lay my life down, I'll pick it up in three days. They put nail in his hand and put nail in his feet. For every lie you done told. Yeah. And he hung on the cross from the sixth to the ninth hour. Yeah. And he never said a mother word. Yeah. But the Bible said, after he said, it is finished, yeah. he laid his head in the locks of his soul. Yeah. Yeah. And I like this part when Jesus said, they said they took him down and they put him in a bar or two. I want to let somebody know it's all right to have insurance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right to have a grave plot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you know God like I know him, yeah, yeah. that grave plot is just temporary. Yeah, yeah. The Bible says they put him in a bar or two. Yeah. And he stayed there for three long days. Yeah. He stayed there one day. Yeah. And he stayed there two days. Yeah. And then on the third
For pain is no more. For crying is no more. But I believe if Sister Shake I'm sing a song right now, she will sing that song like this here. Won't it be grand? Oh, won't it be grand? Won't it be grand?
may thy sister shake to the earth. For as it has pleased the almighty God, his wise providence, to take out of this world the soul of our deceased sister, the Monica Shady. We therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection in the last day, and the law and the life of the world to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose second coming in the glorious majesty to judge the world, the earth, yes. and the sea shall give up their dead, and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed, and make like unto his own glorious body, uh -huh. according to the mighty works whereby he's able to seduce all things unto himself. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, right, Blessed are the dead yes. which die in the Lord. But henceforth, ye said the Spirit, that they may rest from their labor. We will have the Lord's prayer and concert. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debts. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil, for thou art the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. Amen.